Park Industries has created this video to assist you in coning, threading, and bending of high pressure line for the fusion. Each kit includes the tools needed to do quarter inch line and three eighths inch line. First insert the collet in for the correct size of line that you are about to cone and thread. Next, insert the correct size cutting tool. Thread the cap on so that there are three threads exposed. Take a marker and color the end of the line so that you can see that all metal has been removed and cleaned up with the cutting tool. Insert the high pressure line in through the collet until it presses against the cutting tool. Back off the cutting tool after it's been inserted so that when the line is tightened, the cutting tool is not damaged. Tighten the coning fixture into a vise so that it's secured for the next step. Apply a generous amount of cutting fluid to the end of the high pressure line. Rotate the cutting handle clockwise and slowly turn the knurled nut in as pressure is relieved from the tool. Every six turns, clean the debris using an air nozzle. Cover the area with your hand or with a rag as a safety precaution to keep debris from flying. After cleaning the debris from the area, apply more cutting oil. Continue this process until all the marker has been removed from the end of the line. Loosen the collet from the coning fixture. Clean all the debris from the end of the high pressure line, remove the collet, blow off any remaining shavings, and wipe clean with the rag. Use a drill bit to remove any kind of burrs from the inside portion of the high pressure line. Insert the correct size guide bushing into the housing. Tighten the set screw with an Allen wrench so it's snug. It does not have to be torqued down. Line up the indentation with the set screw. Insert the die so that the writing on the die is to the outside. Tighten both set screws, there is one on each side, just snug, they do not need to be torqued down. Slide the threading tool onto the end of the line, then apply a generous amount of cutting oil to the die. Rotate the die counterclockwise until it threads onto the high pressure line. Once it threads onto the line, Turn three turns counterclockwise and then one turn clockwise to relieve any debris. Continue this process until there are about a half inch of threads sticking out the end of the cutting tool. Thread the collet onto the high pressure line. There should be three threads exposed in between the taper and the end of the collet as shown. Tighten the bender into a vise to hold it secure. 
Place the high pressure line into the bender and snug the bolts but do not tighten them. Using a tape measure or the line that's being replaced on the machine, get the proper location of where the bend needs to start. Tighten the bolts once the correct location has been found. Put the bending bar onto the bending tool. To do this, push in the blue button on the pin and then push it down while lining it up with the bolt. You are now ready to start bending the line. It will take some force to bend the 3 8 inch high pressure line. After you are finished bending the line, remove the pin by pushing down the blue button and pulling up. Loosen the bolts and then remove the high pressure line. To clean out the inside of the high pressure line, use compressed air followed with brake cleaner. After the brake cleaner comes out the other end of the line, use compressed air to then blow out the remaining brake cleaner. We hope that you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to call anytime at 1-800-785-3391.